Hamlet once spoke of finding a quarrel in a straw. We have one of those right now in Canada, the so-called NECOB debate. It's vastly overinflated, politically inspired, media-driven, and a diversion from issues of broader consequence and genuine significance. It reminds me of the similar turban debate for the RCMP years ago. A lot of dust and noise then, now, hardly ever mentioned. Neither Canada's fate nor its heritage depend in any way on one person, face covered or face uncovered, taking the citizenship oath. Drain that of all politics and the politically constructed symbolism that shrouds it and the actual parties involved could probably work out something simple and common sense. The new citizen could say, you know, I prefer to wear the niqab, but this is a new country for me, so just for a few minutes at the citizenship ceremony, I'll give a pass on my preference, just in the interest of simple harmony. Or maybe officialdom could say, look, let's just get a woman to administer the oath or identify her, not as an official concession, but just to put everyone at ease. Does everything everywhere always have to be angrily declared a right? Must we find a quarrel in every straw? Is there not something else besides this one woman's oath to talk about in an election year? What about jobs? People are losing jobs in the oil industry. Don't hear much of that. Provincial governments are taking huge hits from the fall in revenue. Is there any articulated response to what a slowdown in the economy might mean? Aren't jobs and employment more meaningful to millions of Canadians, especially young people, than this essentially fake and contrived war over one person's oath-taking? What about real violations of human rights the monstrous bloodiness and persecutions going on in Syria, the plight of Christians tormented and martyred at the behest of Islamic terror, Boko Haram stealing, selling, abusing young girls and women. It is the huge silence on these real issues that amplifies the noise of the wedge politics. And the niqab storm is just that, posturing on a non-event to draw supporters, raise funds, and reassure the respective party bases. Mr. Harper is in his best war mode, Mr. Trudeau ridiculously summoning hideous episodes of past history. Both, of course, deny they are playing politics. But aside from where they're sitting at the table, the difference between the two leaders on this tactic is thinner than a blade of grass. We're being gamed on this issue, been given a show of sound and fury, while the leaders who manufactured the distraction walk past every big issue that counts. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.